Hello guys, welcome back to Week Mix Media. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Enjoy today's update. Hello, I'm blessed you for blessed you for coming another update on our body. So today we're doing this first update and it's all about Nigeria, Libya, Afcon, Bruhaha. Yeah, so last week Libya was inside Nigeria for the first leg and uh, the treatment that went on, on Libyans were not happy, their players were not happy. Uh, we spotted some videos on the media talk whereby the Libyans, uh, they were like, their players were sitting on the floor and they were like stranded in Nigeria and all that. What I see, um, their captain came out talking about the treatment that Nigerians gave to them. Nigerian government came out defending all the claims that the Libyan captain came up with. What they see here, and if you check out, uh, them say when the Libyans came to Nigeria, you know, they gave them proper treatment. Even the bath that they gave they gave to them, you know, it was it was a good one. What they say. So what they, what are they talking about? So let me take you through uh, the message that the Nigerian government came up with. The NFF dismisses Libya uh, captain's poor treatment claims, insists Libya caused own problems. The Nigeria Football Federation has rejected claims of poor treatment on arrival in Nigeria by the captain of Libya senior men national team, Faiza Abadri. NFF insists the Libyan Football Federation created chaos for its own team, the Mediterranean Knight. NFF Assistant Director Protocol, Mr. Emmanuel Ayagbomi, said. Uh, I have said the Libya Federation only informed the NFF that his team was landing in Port Arcourt and not Oyo only three hours to the team's arrival on Tuesday. So they were supposed to communicate with them a long time before, like saying that they will arrive in uh, uh, Port Arcourt. What did I say? Because they were supposed to land in Oyo, not in Port Arcourt. So it was the time frame was so close that they were able to arrange things for them. I spoke to the General Secretary of LFF at length on Monday, 7th October, and he never hinted that his team would be arriving on Tuesday. The following day, he only said he would get back to me, but never did. On Monday evening, someone sent an advance party by the LFF, called me and said his team would be arriving on Tuesday by noon. We made our arrangement to receive the team in Oyo on arrival. Yes, so... um. Let's continue. It was only an hour after the team was airborne that he told me that the delegation would be landing in Port Harcourt. That disrupted so many things, but we still raised on hurdles to get approval from federal authorities to allow their planes to fly them to Oyo once they concluded migration formalities in Port Harcourt. Apparently, that would have meant additional costs to the LFF from the charter company and they didn't want want that so they preferred to travel from Port Harcourt to Oyo by road. Ayagbomi added that the Libyan delegation uh, justicined road transportation arrangements made for them by the NFF and instead hired buses on their own. If they are if they travel on buses that were not air condition that had nothing to do with the NFF as they hide their own buses. We provided security for them with men and vehicles in front and behind their buses. So we are unmoved about their complaints and threats. So that be the uh, message that the Nigerian government came up with concerning the claims that the Libyans were making out there or just here. So it was return march. Today uh, what was supposed to be the return march, but Unfortunately, the match has been postponed, postponed because of what is happening currently. Nigerians fly to Libya and they were left uh, they were left stranded at the airport for 13 good hours, no food, no Wi-Fi. Uh, Victor Boniface came out ranting on social media talking about the situation at hand and Charlie. We saw a whole lot of videos flying in the left right center whereby the Nigerian players, the condition where they were in, you know. It was not good what I see here. So I would like to take you through some of the video, but before we do that, you know, look at the bus that Libyans came <laughs> with to pick the Nigerian players. Look at the bus. Look at the bus. 
Victor Boniface talked about this, and let me take you through some of his tweets. Said, being at the airport for almost 13 hours, no food, no Wi Fi, nowhere to sleep. African, we can do better. What I say? And Boniface came up again. Which size of boots you they wear make I give you, make you, you come enter field? It be like, say, you know, even know waiting with the top. What I say? So someone came, says, a Boniface, make on I use this vex, score them 100 goals for this match. Simonfa, making people vest for this particular matter top. Score Libya with two, with two for us. And uh, Victor Boniface came up to reply this message. He says, Which size of boots you wear? Make I give you, make you come enter field. It be like, say, you know, even, I say, you like, say, no, you know, even know waiting with the talk. Why I say, so Victor came up again, uh, talking about the bus that the Libyans came up with to pick them. <laughs> Man said, from here, I'll take you through some of the videos that is flying in, and the Libyans are also in defending all the claims that the Nigerians are making that is flying on the media talk. But I said, so Victor Boniface said, see Isaka bus where they, they bring come yesterday. Nobody enter. <laughs> Nobody enter this bus. What is here? So from here, you know, let me take you through some of the video that is flying in concerning the situation whereby the Nigerians players they found themselves in inside Libya. After that, I will take you through some of the reaction that is coming from Libya. Small Wi-Fi got people jumping. You can't connect though. <laughs> Once you're in, people are not letting you. People are not letting you in, bro. Look at them, look at them. He's fighting over the small dongle, you know. 15 man. This guy has been here one hour. Fist, you. You, you've been here one hour. No, he's trying to go. Hands up, hands up. <laughs> Make sure you can connect. <laughs> Reza, 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 Reza. <laughs> oh, bruv, we're going in, we're, we're going insane, bro. We're actually going mad. Hey! <laughs> so you apparently. Where they've told us to land. This is an like, they don't know I'm like look, look how stressed I am about. <laughs> Apparently, this is an airport, man. You know when things start rolling, you know you're in the middle of nowhere, wilderness. It's not even wilderness. Fam, this is kind of stressful, fam. What is this, man? What did you say? <laughs> say again. I said, if you tell your club to say private day, they will tell you, oh, we have a young young English right back. It's ready to take your position. <laughs> hey, man. How these Libyan dons, yeah? The bus that was supposed to pick us up. Thank you very much. So that means some of the videos that uh, came out from Libya concerning the situation that the Nigerian players found themselves in. What they are here. So um, news says that the Nigerian national team plane will be landing at Tripoli Airport. They will stay at least six hours at the airport. Then on on air condition minibuses will come to pick them up to travel thousand kilometers to Benghazi city. Libyan audiences say they must be treated the same way our national team. After all of that, we will win <laughs> to zero. So that be some of the reaction that is coming in concerning this whole thing. Currently, as I'm talking with you, the match has been postponed and we're looking forward to see this match later. So Africa, we can do better because what is this? What is this? You will not see this happening in other uh, in European countries, what you see. So, Charlie, that be the update for you. Don't forget to leave your comment below in the comment section. My name is Andy. See you on our next update. Bye bye. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, Cocky Smart. So, you will pay the TV news, be out, pay trending news, be out, and cover be out. With this media, or by a correct amount. Hey, oh, I don't know, maybe no, Mr. Wendy, you can't, so, subscribe my.
Said the bay, the bibia tuma, ubenya, why, and dancing.